Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I want to show you how to set up a mouse enclosure. So obviously the first thing you're going to need is the enclosure itself and although mice are relatively small, they are really active animals and they do need an enclosure that is big enough. So because of this, I don't recommend going any smaller than about 60 by 40 centimeters minimum for one male mouse or a couple of females. Of course, it's always a good idea not to just stick to the minimum and give them as much space as you can. And if you are choosing to own a large group of mice, obviously these will need a larger space. So the enclosure I'm currently choosing to use is the IKEA Detolf and I have my seven female mice living in here at the moment. I have made a whole separate video reviewing this as an enclosure for mice, which I'll leave linked down in the description. I do also have a separate video where I talk you guys through my cage recommendations and giving you a few suggestions if you're stuck on what cage to use and I'll leave that video linked in the description too. So once you've got the enclosure, the next thing you need to add into there is the substrate and this needs to be a safe bedding, nothing scented, dusty, no pine or cedar that isn't kiln dried or dust extracted as this can seriously affect their respiratory systems and cause them to have respiratory infections. Some good beddings you can use with your mice are hemp, aspen, any paper based beddings, carbon based beddings, things like that. So when it comes to adding in the substrate into the enclosure you do want to add a deep layer of the bedding just so they're able to dig and forage as this is really important for them to express their natural behaviours. If you are choosing to use a bedding like aspen or hemp that is slightly rougher you will also want to add in a softer nesting material, things like shredded tissue or recycled tea bag bedding will be really good for adding into their sleeping area. Next, we want to add in any houses or hides to give our mice somewhere safe to sleep without being disturbed. It's always a good idea to provide them with a couple of options just to give them a choice over which one they want to sleep in, especially if you have multiple mice living in one enclosure. And if you have a large group of mice, make sure whatever you're giving them to sleep in is big enough for the whole group to sleep into. So the main two options I give my mice to sleep in is a large ceramic plant pot and also a wooden chamber hide. Next we want to provide them with a wheel, 6.5 inches is considered the minimum, but if you have slightly larger mice you may need a bigger wheel, so because of this I recommend 8 inches and above. You don't want to provide them with any wheels that are wire or mesh, solid, metal, wooden, plastic wheels only, and if you have multiple mice living in the same enclosure, you will want to provide them with multiple wheels just to prevent them from fighting over resources. Next it's time to add in all of the toys and accessories to the base of the enclosure, things like extra hides, tunnels, chew toys, everything like that. When it comes to adding things to the base of the enclosure you want to make sure it's as busy as possible. Mice can get quite scared and nervous in wide open spaces, so you want to provide them with plenty of places to hide in and feel secure. You will also want to provide them with some hanging toys to climb on, so things like ropes, ladders, bridges. Mice really love to climb, so utilising all of that space at the top to hang extra toys is really good to the enclosure too. Of course we also want to provide our mice with a fresh water supply. You can use either a water bottle or a water bowl. I choose to use a combination of both but it's completely up to you which one you'd prefer. Of course there's other things we can add into the enclosure as added enrichment. Foraging toys are a really good thing to provide your mice with because they are so intelligent I do recommend going out and getting them some foraging toys too. Also providing them with different substrates within the enclosure is a really good form of enrichment whether this is dust extracted hay for them to interact with or you can also provide them with a dig box with cocoa soil 
Things like that are also great to add into the enclosure too. You could also decorate the outside of your enclosure if you wish, as long as what you're using is safe. I really like using these reusable stickers by Furnishables. The ones I have on at the moment go really nicely with my natural theme, and I just think they make the whole enclosure look really fun. If you'd like to pick up some stickers to decorate your enclosures, I do have a discount code which is ME10. This will get you 10% off your entire order, and I'll leave their website linked in the description. Then of course it's time to add in the mice and here are my seven girls going into their new setup. So I hope this was helpful if you were stuck on how to set up a mouse enclosure. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!